keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we have Desmond Bain's exact build. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. That's liking the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noti game for my daily dub loads. But now, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So, we all know Desmond Bain, he was by far the best player on the Memphis Grizzlies before they end up losing to my Los Angeles Lakers. But, you know, with John Moran being hurt, um, Desmond stepped up, man. Desmond Bain really stepped up, dropped a couple 30-bomb games. Um, I think he dropped, shoot, man, he went off, man. He just went off, period. Um, he's a great, great, great shooter. He's one of the best shooters in the league, right, hands down. And I thought it would be dope to bring him into the game. I made John Morant's exact build. I made Jared Jackson's um, exact build. Now it's only right to do Desmond Bain, the trio on the, in the future of, you know, Memphis Grizzlies. So, um, again here, as you see, driving labels in 88. His standing dunk, we ain't worried about that. Driving dunks in 75, we will definitely boost that to get that tone to 80 to get quick drops. Um, close shots in 89. Mid range is a 95 and three point shots in 88. So, you know, we got to show love there. That's what he, that's his bread and butter with an 89 free throw. Um, then, of course, pass accuracy to 82. His ball handle is just an 82, and his speed with ball is just a 70. We'll boost that to get that, make sure we get that 75 to get the MJ um, dribble style. We need that. Um, nothing really um, um, spectacular interior. He does have above average perimeter defense, but after that, there's nothing else that really stands out. I mean, again, like I said, you know, he's basically a really locked down dead eye shooter no speed no acceleration um nothing else really here that stands out but when we go over here check it out nothing again with the finishing but the shooting is where he does it amped blinders catch and shoot of course claymore of course on gold green machine on gold slip slippery off ball on gold volume shooter on gold corner specialist i mean like he has it all right it just makes sense like i said he's one of the best shooters in the league it just makes sense he's probably a top five shooter in the league um and if you want to talk about production when it comes to the best shooters you know, outside of Clay Thompson, um, Steph Curry. Well, I wouldn't even say that. Maybe somebody even argue that Clay Thompson, Desmond Bain might be a better player than Clay, but I doubt that. I don't know. I, I still think Clay's a better defender, so all around. But if you're talking about just straight shooting, you're talking about other than other than Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, you know, Damian Lillard. Name a better person, a player that's just a lights out shooter. I mean, he's probably what second or third in the league in three point percentage, um, and he shoots a lot. Um, it's just all in all, he's just a really good pick, man. Like, it just sucks that he's in it with the Grizzlies, but it is what it is. But again, like I said, solid player all around. Now, let's head over to the My Player Builder and let's make Desmond Bain. All right, my nephews and nieces. Okay, so, um, as we know, Desmond, he is a shooting guard, he's right handed, and he is number 22. Um, his height was 6'5, he was 215 pounds, so we're going to 215 with it. Wingspan, we're going to leave it the same. Um, we don't know what's official wingspan, but we'll leave it the same. As we all know, Desmond Bain is absolutely. Now, everybody jokes on his short arms and their cock diesel so of course we got to go built <laughs> right but anyway you can pick any body shape that you want but you know he is very he's awkwardly shaped he's tall with very short arms right <laughs> and he's built like he's like he just does nothing but curls in the gym like like he just curls like he has popeye arms i think that's the best way to say it but um we're gonna go 86 on the close shot um that's very important because it will give you the fearless finisher giant slayer on hall of fame again even though he had a very high um close shot we just ain't need to go no higher than 86. Driving layup, we are going to go 89 so we can get that slithery on gold. And then, of course, like I said, we are going to boost his quick drops. I mean, boost his driving dunk from a 75 to an 80 so we can get quick drops. That will give us limitless takeoff on silver also. Very important to have this on any type of build. And again, we know we had a 95. Um, we're just going to stop at 90, though, because that 90 will give us the green machine. Don't need to go all the way up to 95. That's just ridiculous. He had an 88 three ball. We're going to stop at 86. Um, again, don't need to go that high up to 88. I think 86 is perfect because, as you can see here, 86 will give you Claymore on Hall of Fame. 88 doesn't do anything. So, I, I, you know me, I like to just get attributes that make sense, right? No need to waste anything. Same thing here. We're going 80 on the free throw. No need to go higher than that. If you can't hit with 80 free throw, I don't know what to say. All right. Um, he did have an 82 pass accuracy, so we are going to do that. And then he had um, an 82 ball handle, 
but as you can see once again going to 82 doesn't do nothing but 80 one thing about 80 that's very important is that it starts opening up those elite dribble packages so you want to be able to have that he had a 70 speed with ball but we're going to go 75 for obvious reasons so you can be able to get the michael jordan dribble style with this build so what's really dope about this build is that you can dribble with this build you can pass really well but you can shoot lights out mid-range and three ball and you can finish really strong and then on the defense again like i said he didn't have anything crazy but we are going to still show love with the 15 tier defense that he had we're gonna go 75 on the perimeter like he had we're gonna go 50 on the block okay and then we're also gonna go 33 on the offensive rebound and then we're gonna go 60 on the defensive you don't need to go 70 because you already have rebound chaser so you don't have to go high for that you can still equip rebound chaser with this build and that's what i suggest now he only had a 74 speed but we're going to still go 75 and we're going to still go up to 85 on acceleration even though he had a 74 acceleration obviously we know acceleration is very poor when it comes to dribbling and even though this build is built to be a secondary ball handler and obviously a hash sitter in the wreck it's still good to have acceleration to be able to get um your shots off when you need to create yourself um strength is just a 50 we are going to go 75 on the vert he had a good vert and then we're going to go ahead and go 93 on his stamina so as you can see 18 26 18 and 7 obviously this this build focuses on shooting but then he does have the ability to finish and have playmaking so i really like the way that this build came out um and then of course you have options here you have slash and take which is good to have if you want to get easy blow buys with limitless range threes you can but obviously, if we're talking about Desmond Bain, what he really is, he really is a spot of precision and limitless range takeover type guy. But again, it's your build. You can make it any way you want and put any badges you want, okay? But um, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. As like I said, as you're going to see right here, man, we got first shades of Desmond Bain at the top. But look at the right, Austin Reeves. So I might need to go ahead and tweak it a little bit and get y'all Austin Reeves here because Austin Reeves is cooking up. So I think it's dope. So maybe in a week or two, I'll go ahead and drop an Austin Reeves, um, you know, exact build. But, you know, it ain't a exact build if it ain't the first shades of, you know what I'm saying? So we'll go ahead and tweak it and work on it a little bit and see what I can do. But let's uh, see here. Let's test this build out real quick. Let's get to 99. Again, we'll get you out of here. Um, again, like I said, this build is heavily on shooting. So we're going to focus on that. But you do want to get your fearless finisher. You obviously want to get Giant Slayer because, yes, you are 6'5". That's very important. So you want to be able to have that. Um, let's get area wizard just on bronze now down here like i said you want to go ahead and core your slithery that's very important and then get your limitless that's it then you have your two left over what i would probably do is take this off and then go down here and give it acrobat yeah let's go acrobat here yeah let's do acrobat all right so we get acrobat on bronze um and then on the shooting side you want to get your green machine like i said you want your catch and shoot come on we're talking about desmond but just get on silver first because down here what you want to do is you want to get your blinders you want to core that and then you want to get your limitless boom come back up get your catch and shoot and your claymore all right so now as you can tell he has everything that desmond bain will you know that you need to have with desmond bain you have claymore and hall of fame catch and shoot on gold blinders on gold limitless on silver and you have hall of fame green machine um you do have the options here if you want to go ahead and get your agent threes and fade whip you definitely can add a badge point here if you want that's very important to do that um if you can double core here i definitely recommend double coring so just keep that in mind um there's other ways some people might want to get volume i want to do volume or amp it's, it's not as likely since you're a secondary ball handler to need that but amp is a good one um but playmaking is where you want to have to add badges as you see here quick first step that's four and then that's 12 so let's go that's 11 let's see here that's eight let me go here and just get 10 because down here we're going to have to get uh this core clan breakers let's get handles for days um let's go so we got that let's go here actually i don't think we would need that all right boom 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 we have everything we need uh yeah i guess so we'll get vice grip just on bronze just in case you get a rebound so basically what it looks like is you want to focus your attention on your shooting to add more badges points there just go crazy on the shooting um no need to do anything here man because you got to add a lot of badges here i want to do that um so i'll just see what i can core here and then move on so let's core menace I get pick dodger like i said we want rebound chaser um and we can go ahead and get not chase now um let's see let's go workhorse all right let's do that all right but anyway there you have it, my nephews and nieces this is desmond bain's exact build obviously i feel like this is one of the you know good 
secondary ball handler builds in the game. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say you back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.